It was supposed to be pissing it down. It was pissing it down when I went to bed. When I woke up in the middle of the night, pissing it down. Woke up at four in the morning to get ready for work. Pissing it down. Put all my waterproofs on. Nothing. Maybe a little, little spit. I mean, I don't know why I'm complaining because, you know, riding in the, in the rain is just annoying, but. Put all my gear on. So my leg has been uh, a lot better recently, up until the point where I'm now looking at an extra day in the office. Now, which is a good thing because I'm able to walk more, do more, which is nice. It does mean going to Liverpool an extra day a week, which sucks because going to the well, working in the office in general sucks. Socks ass, but I do get to go on my bike an extra uh, day a week, which is good. It does pose the question, uh, though, that I mean, I'm not, I, I can't do uh, like I can, but I mean, no one watches the long videos as it is, so doubling them up, doubling them up is. Uh, not exactly gonna get me anywhere. I, let's say I get me anywhere. Like I'm like still have any kind of like plans. But in terms of the amount of effort required, I'll probably just stick to two commute-based videos. But. If anything interesting, which which it won't, I mean, let's face it, it's like ten past six in the morning. Uh, nothing. Ugh, fuck you, rhythmic biker. Nothing like remotely interesting is going to happen on the way to work. But you know, there's a tiny possibility I might say something like mildly interesting. I'm not, but I might. So I'll do the uh, daytime videos. Eh, me. It's nicer anyway. You know, it's a bit lighter. You can, this like the scenery isn't a dull meh colour. Although the clouds aren't really helping in this situation. And obviously, I didn't go out at the weekend. Just couldn't. Just couldn't be bothered. It's also really windy. I hate the wind. It's mainly because I crashed in the wind, which makes the thought of going out in the wind, I don't know, less enjoyable. I don't mind rain so much. I can always wear waterproofs, but ugh, the wind, I'm getting buffeted around. Although. It was on a 125 and this is significantly heavier and more stable. And why is this guy up my fucking ass? I mean, there's fucking water everywhere and he's right at my fucking backside like some gobshite. I was thinking about like looking at, you know, at, like a bike night or something. Now that's out of my system. So, yeah, so how do bike nights actually work? I mean, I'm not in any kind of like biker gang or biker club, so I don't know whether it means if I'd like just just show up, whether it be like, oh, the new boy, get him, uh, get off our turf, girl. or is it, no, you, you, I just turn up and park and I'm like, ah, I have bike. 
Ah, you have bike. Let us be bike buds. Let us do the dance of the motorcycle. I mean, I'm assuming it's something like you just turn up to. But I know all I'd do is I'd I'd go there, I would see all the people, and then I'd just ride past, turn around and go home. I've even done it like I went to the Ponderosa and I, I parked as far as humanly possible away from it, all the other bikes. Got, got off my bike, uh, made one phone call and left. No interaction with anyone else, not a chance, no idea why, just I don't I don't know what the uh, the the like the, the social thing to, like to do in that situation is I know it sounds weird but you know such is life I don't mind like I've got no problems with talking to people but for some reason I don't know how I'm supposed to initiate like a normal conversation if they approach me happy days I can do that all day long talk to people but like just walk up to a stranger and go hello Let's talk about motorbikes. Sound like lunacy. I mean, I'm not on Facebook either, so I'm not. I mean, to be fair, the, the fault is is mine in that respect because I'm not on any kind of like social media platform besides this one. So setting up setting up any kind of like club meet things or you know talking to people you know via the old chit chats is a uh oh don't slip in the wet don't slip in the wet you know it's just something that i could do but i choose not to and then moan I'm hoping this camera's waterproof because it's a little bit of rain. I mean, I've got no idea what the footage is going to look like. We shall see, we shall see how it goes. How it goes. Do you know, I was thinking the other day, uh, well, I was thinking that. I make an, an odd amount of bum related uh, videos but <clears throat> apart from that I was thinking the other day you know if you could like you know, design like a drug for a specific effect right right do you know when you <laughs> you really need to go to the toilet and you go and it is massive like mega to the point where afterwards you just need to have like a little a little sit down and a contemplation of your life and you know, as your body just relaxes back into position, all your organs start to rearrange, and you just feel like a kind of uh, a Zen piece. What drug is that? I want that one. I want the drug that gives you like a a post massive turd malaise. If there isn't one, I think like someone needs to Heisenberg it up. It'll be the next big thing. Well, I have noticed a little bit of a. It's probably it's probably just me, as in like <laughs> a polarizing personality, uh, probably. But I get some like random people commenting some like some serious like not seriously hate but call me all sorts and it makes me wonder like why do people think I would give the slightest bit of shit the slightest poo like I don't know who they are I mean for a, an insult to have any effect surely you need to have some sort of like respect or 
desire for that other person's opinion and <clears throat> when I don't respect anybody it doesn't matter what they say because I don't care anyway it blows my mind that some people get so angry about like, a YouTube video that they have to make a comment and critique it I don't really understand why people have to like you know critique other people's riding and not just things like oh you know watch out for such and such I had a blah 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 you know an attempt at a helpful message but the whole keep riding out like that you'll be an organ donor you'll be eating pavement soon too late already done that why can't people be nice? Not like this dickhead in front of me. Get out of the way, dickhead! Oh, God! Places to be. I mean, who does that? Who rides, like... Like, neck and neck with someone? You will not... You shall not pass! Cycling Mikey finally got a driving license. I used to like cycling Mikey. Used to. Now I find myself a little bored. I mean, it's one thing to... You know, it's one thing to, you know, try and stop people from using the phones when you're out and about or wherever, but like literally riding up and down the same piece of road, trying to catch people for YouTube money, I'm guessing, I don't know what he does for like a job, if anything. just comes off as like fake sincerity I feel that about most like like any video where someone's like either giving away or doing something charitable and they have like someone filming them doing it and I'm like you're not exactly coming across as very like, altruistic at that point you, you literally look like you're just giving away money because you want like the gamble that you will get more money back from like ad revenue or you know things like that mm -hmm. 